Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Devlina and you're watching the Red Reading Hood. So guys, I was uh, sitting on my chair and thinking about all the weird stuff that is going on. So today my thought was, I think there are two kind of drinkers of tea and coffee. So I'm going to depict that to you as well. So drinker number one. Drinker number two. So in today's video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how you can start reading as a new reader or how you can just get yourself into reading after a really really long book slump. So let's get started. So tip number one, find a little enthusiasm. So obviously if you're not enthusiastic about reading a book, please don't read it. But if you are interested in reading a book, then obviously you can find some more inspiration from watching booktube where all the people are really enthusiastic about, about books and they really want to read more books. So obviously you can uh, also, be uh, also be encouraged to read more books. Tip number two, contact a friend who has also an interest in books and who also wants to start reading. So obviously if you get some kind of company, you can obviously do what? You can do like a certain race kind of like who can read the book faster or who can read the next book a little earlier. So obviously you will be more enthusiastic about finishing a book faster and reading more than your friend. So obviously this will help you in reading more. Tip number three, find a genre of book which you will enjoy. Like for me, I like some fantasy, some historical fictions, or some novel fictions and contemporary I'm not much that of a fan. But I also try to read some contemporaries but mainly my uh, interests are based on fantasy. So obviously if you love contemporary, just read contemporary. Or if you love fictions and fantasy, just read those books. Don't force yourself to read a certain book which you won't enjoy. That, ob that obviously won't perk up your interest any better. Tip number four. If you are a reader, like new reader, then obviously you can start your reading from a comic book or a manga. Like you, you, all, you have all those illustrations and depictions and you don't have to engage yourselves into lines and lines of words which you don't you don't get any interest or you don't want to read all those kind of words and words and words so obviously a comic or a graphic novel or a manga or a book which has many illustrations will obviously help uh, just lift up your interest into reading okay so tip number four or a five or whatever I'll just continue so the next tip is don't read a huge book like don't read a book which has 600 pages or 700 pages like it's too intimidating for you always start with a book which is very small like 200 pages 250 pages or maximum of 400 pages like that will be the perfect start for you you will start and end the book in a small amount of time than if you try to read a 600 or 700 page book obviously so it will give you a sense of accomplishment like i have read 10 books in this month so which is equivalent to like five books or four books if they are really really fat my next tip is to pick up a book which has twists and turns and is fast paced like you will just engross yourself into that kind of reading it will just you will just be engrossed into the book i have a very good uh, selection of those kind of books especially shatter me shatter me is a very good book it's a fast paced book it's full of suspense and thriller and romance and all those good stuffs so pick up a book which is really fast paced so you will get an interest to read that book which you will not be able to put down. I am guaranteeing it. 
My next tip is to set aside a particular time for reading. It may be before you go to bed at night or before or after you wake up in the morning but if you if you're not able to set aside a particular time i really suggest breaking up your time into particular sections like if you're having 15 minutes of a free time anywhere just open up your book and read it if uh, you are like reading 15 minutes now and after later in the day if you again get 15 minutes or 20 minutes of free time just go on just read it you don't need a uh, single block of time like I need to read for one hour today that will be really monotonous for new readers at least I have faced this problem like I could consider it only for 10 minutes or 15 minutes not more than that so I just split up my time in the whole day like I was reading 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes at night so I got 20 minutes of reading altogether. My next tip is if you do not at some point of time do not like reading anymore you can obviously go and listen to an audiobook listening to an audiobook will definitely help you a lot suppose you are working you can also listen to the audiobook at the same time and you will be able to finish that book my next tip is uh, find a cozy environment for yourself where you can read a book if you do not find that cozy environment in your bedroom just go to your roof go to your balcony just go anywhere in this world go to a park go to a lobby anywhere just open up your book where you will find the environment really good for reading that book now this environment obviously varies from person to person like for me I obviously find my bedroom more cozy but obviously when I don't find my bedroom cozy I head over to my balcony and read over there. My final tip is please don't be heartbroken, don't feel that you have not accomplished anything if you are, you are not reading 10 books a month. If you are able to read 2 books a month that is a big achievement for you remember that. Like people don't read two books even in the whole year and you are reading two books in a month. So two books in a month equivalents to 24 books in one year. So obviously you are accomplishing a lot. So don't feel heartbroken if you are not reading as much as other readers because everyone's reading speed is different and everyone is different. So I hope that you will not feel heartbroken. I hope all these tips have helped you all and obviously if you try to follow it I think you will get a little bit from a little bit of benefit from all these tips so I really hope you have enjoyed my video and if you have enjoyed my video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and obviously comment in the down bar on the initial question that I have given you bye